When Nelson Mandela was asked about the secret of his success by journalists, he answered with very few words. He simply said, I know who I am. And I would suggest to you that that is actually the secret to success for anybody in their careers, and it's also the secret to organisations if they want to be at the top of their game. The people who work there need to know who they are. They also need to know what's going on around them. An honest appraisal of what's going on around them. That honest appraisal could be shades of dark and light and grey, which create feelings amongst people. And those feelings determine the extent to which they are energised in the work that they do and the amount of effort that they put in. If people are feeling anxious, cynical, bitter, angry, they cannot possibly give the best of themselves. In knowing who we are, really, we need to know a whole heap of things, don't we? We need to know something about our ambitions, our values, our behaviours, how we respond in situations, and the subject of today's talk is talent. How many of you could actually name your top two or three talents if we were to give you a piece of paper right now? And yet it is key, isn't it? If we're going to be the best that we can be, we need to know where our talent lies. We need to even know what talent is. And there are three definitions that I'd like to give you. The three words are competence, talent and strength. They tend to get used interchangeably, but they mean very different things. You know, competence is our ability to do something to a standard that is required. And competence is really important. I don't know about you, but I would hate to be lying there on the operating table with an incompetent surgeon. But talent is something different than that, isn't it? Talent is our ability to do something that is natural. You know, it's our natural ability, which probably is derived from our experiences as a child. We may have been born with certain physical or mental attributes. You know, it's our natural ability to do something. And the strength only arrives when we take a talent and we practice it to a point that it adds significant value to ourselves and others. And the secret, really, for all organisations in the current marketplace is to be able to release the talent of individuals, which really means turning those talents into strengths. So the starting point is really what talents do we have? I would really challenge you to begin to name the talents that you have. You know, there are lots of diagnostics out there that could help you to do that. Marcus Buckingham wrote an excellent book, Now Discover Your Strengths, there's a diagnostic in there. But to me, the best way is just to sit down and think about it. You know, just take a pad and write the things that you enjoy doing, that you're good at, the things that people ask you to do a lot of. And to give a little description about how it works. You know, owning our talents is really the starting point, isn't it? You know, somebody else's label, frankly, won't do. It has to be our label and our description and our insight into how that talent works.